Hey, everybody. Hope you are doing well. So Mark O'Connor, legendary country and bluegrass violin player, put together a group of very, very high quality artists, and they decided to do a bit of a tribute or an homage to the Charlie Daniels band classic, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Um, it features Charlie Daniels, but you also get Johnny Cash, Travis Tritt, and Marty Stewart also playing on the song with Mark O'Connor. And they did a song called Devil Comes Back to Georgia, which is kind of an interesting, fun, sort of semi-pseudo sequel to the original song. So with that said, let's check it out. Devil Comes Back to Georgia. <laughs> I should say that I've also shrunk the box down here because I've got to watch the music video and, and I don't want to deal with the copyright, so I have to shrink the box. So please feel free to uh, you know zoom in on that. All right, let's go. Since the devil laid his fiddle at Johnny's feet And it burned inside his mind the way he suffered that defeat In the darkest pits of hell the devil hatched an evil plan To tempt the fiddle player for he's just a mortal man The sin of pride the devil cried is what will do you in I thought we had this settled I'm the best it's ever been Johnny did you ever know the time keeps marching on The coldest hour is the one comes just before the dawn the devil's back in Georgia, will you stand up to the test? Or will you let the devil be the best? Truth is, I hadn't played much since the baby came in June. But give me half a minute and I'll get this fiddle back in June. The devil grabbed the golden fiddle out of Johnny's hand and said, Boy, I'm the fiddle player underground, but now I walk on the land. This is the only cure for the predicament he's in. Now, devil, it would be a sin for you to get my boat. So you go on back to hell to the woodshed. I will go. Johnny, are you practicing or will your hands grow cold? Devil walks the land and plays a fiddle made of gold. Can you hear the babe crying? Will he ever know? The devil wants his daddy's very soul. God's own word ring true. He said you can't be trusted. Yeah, so what you gonna do? Well, you get your fiddle, devil, if you think that you can win. Cause I beat you once, you old dog, and I can whip your butt again. John Brown's dream, the devil is red. My little baby loves shortening bread. Devil's dream is that he can win. But Johnny is the best that's ever been.
it ain't the original one, and I totally get that. But how many of you have actually ever seen or heard the sequel? I probably heard it back in the 90s or so when it came out, but I got to be honest with you, I don't remember it. And um, in many ways, it was kind of fun, you know? I mean... Hearing a uh, hearing a younger Johnny Cash, you know, before the whole American recordings uh, era of Johnny Cash, you know, sort of the 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 fun that Travis Tit Travis Travis Tit Travis Tritt Travis Tritt had with the um, had with the devil part, you know, uh, and Mark O'Connor is one hell of a fiddle player. I mean, he's not. <laughs> He's not amongst the best for nothing, you know what I mean? I mean, I remember a time when you couldn't turn on, you know, CMT or, or you know, any of the country, the Nashville network or any of that stuff. You couldn't turn it on without seeing something that had Mark O'Connor in it. And actually, Mark O'Connor is a uh, is a member of one of my favorite bluegrass supergroups. There's a there's a little known group called Strength in Numbers that was sort of a super group gathering of legends in the bluegrass world, um, and it featured Mark O'Connor on violin. You had Bella Fleck on banjo, Jerry Douglas on uh, dobro, uh, Edgar Meyer on upright bass, and Sam Bush on mandolin. And they put it on put an put out an album called the Telluride Sessions because they they went and they recorded a it's just a get together album over the course of a couple of weeks during the Telluride Bluegrass Festival, and it's still to this day one of my favorite instrumental albums of all time. In fact, uh, every time I've owned a copy of it on CD, I've lent it to somebody and it's been taken from me. I don't even think I have a copy of it anymore, but I don't care. I love it. There's actually some really nice uh, archival video footage that you can watch from Austin City Limits episodes or, uh, or again, Lonesome Pine specials um, where you can watch them perform, and it's pretty incredible. If you're a bluegrass fan, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's an incredible playing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think maybe I've heard this song one time, totally dismissed it. And I've listened to it this time and been like, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I mean, clearly they were having fun. It was an homage to the original one. They had, obviously, Charlie Daniels' permission to do it because he's in the video. And, uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I think it's just fun. And like I said, I know some of you will be like, oh, don't ruin the best song that they ever did or don't ruin the class. It's, it's like I said, they had fun. And that's what music's supposed to be, isn't it? It's supposed to be fun, especially a song like that. It's supposed to be enjoyable and fun and rowdy and just fun. And uh, I, I liked it. I liked it. I'm not going to sit there and say it's going to be in regular rotation by any means, but it's fun. And that's, that's you know, what else can I say? Um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Be curious to find out what you think. And uh, just know that I appreciate you and I wish you all well. Okay, take care.